Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at Pearson's Product Moment Correlation Coefficient. Okay, so you should be familiar with the ideas of correlation. Here we have a scatter graph with a positive correlation. And I'm also pointing out a data point that is an outlier. That data point clearly does not fit the correlation of the graph and we would call that an outlier. In general though, most of the data is going up and it's a positive correlation. Here we have no correlation and here we have a negative correlation. A negative correlation is when uh, the data is tending to go down and that means as the independent variable goes up, the dependent variable goes down. Whereas the positive correlation, as one variable goes up, the other variable goes up as well. And for no correlation, there is no pattern between the two variables. They don't seem to be correlated. Now we can talk about correlation strength. So a really strong correlation will look like this, where all the data fits the trend really, really strongly. A moderate positive correlation or a moderate negative correlation might look like this, where they're a bit more spread out, but still you can see the pattern. And a weak correlation um, is where the data barely fits the pattern. It's a bit more spread out. Um, there is still some correlation in the data. Now, if you want to know more about this, I have a video on scatter graphs and correlation, and I will link that in the description below uh, for you to see. But for the rest of this video, we'll focus on Pearson's mom, um, coefficient. Okay, so Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient is a measure of how strong the correlation is between two variables. It has a symbol R and its values are between minus one and one. So minus one is less than or equal to R is less than or equal to one. And for uh, different scatter graphs, the value of R is displayed here. Now you can see that when it's a perfect positive correlation, the value of R is one. And then all the way on the right hand side, you can see a negative, perfect negative correlation has a value of minus one. And the graphs in between uh, show you the value of R uh, for different correlations. And what you'd see is that the closer R is to one or minus one, the stronger the correlation is. If it's positive, it's a positive correlation. If, it's, if R is a negative value, it's a negative correlation. For zero, halfway between those, there is no correlation at all, just random data. Okay, so example, our researcher collected data on the amount of time spent playing video games and the score the students played, the students achieved on the science exam. The data is displayed in the table below and we can, we're asked to calculate Pearson's product and moment correlation coefficients, asked to describe the correlation and then C, it says, will the trends continue forever? Okay, so let's see how we would do this. And we're going to use our graphing calculator to do this. Let's go. So we're going to choose statistics from the main menu. And we go into the table here. We're going to start entering our data. 0, 0 0.5, 1, 2, 4, 5.5, 7, etc. Now we're going to enter in our percentage score. We're going to move on to the next column by clicking right, and we're going to enter our data again. After each row, we click EXE to move on. Now we're going to choose F6 twice to check our settings. And our settings should look like this. The graph type should be scatter, and our X list should be list one, our Y list should be uh, list two. When you're ready, when you're happy with that, you can press exit, and then you go to uh, F1 for graph, and then you see a scatter graph, click F1 again. And now we're going to click X by clicking F2 and then F1 for AX plus B. And here we are, we have Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient uh, with a symbol R next to it. Here our R value is minus 0.946851. We are finished, and that is how you find Pearson's coefficient on your scientific graphical calculator. Now we're going to describe the correlation. So here our value of R is very close to minus one. 
So we can say it's a strong negative correlation, suggesting that the more time spent playing video games leads to a lower percentage score. And we know that, we know it's strong because the value of R is between minus 0.5 and minus 1. Now we asked, will the trend continue forever? So I've got a scatter graph here. And no, the trend won't continue forever because there is a minimum percentage possible. So if you played video games for a million hours, you still would not get a score of less than 0%. Because the percentage score cannot continue decreasing below 0%. The trend cannot continue forever. Now I just want to show you what different correlations will look like. Here is a very strong negative correlation and the value of R here will be minus 0.99. This is a slightly um, weaker but still strong negative correlation or when, and the R value here is minus 0.7. Here it's getting quite weak but there is still a general negative trend in the data. The R value is, is minus 0.3. Here, it is just a cloud of random dots. There is no pattern in this data at all, and the R value is zero. Here is a mild positive correlation with an R value of about 0 0.5. And finally, we've got a perfect positive correlation where all the data is perfectly lined up and it fits in a perfect straight line graph. The R value here is one. Okay. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. We're covering GCSE, A-level and IB Maths videos with quick and simple explanations and new videos are coming soon. We've also got AdvancedMaths.com with amazing revision guides to help you perfect your exams. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.